Joining us now with a closer look, we really want to get to the topics. We're so excited to have Dr. Stephen Caliendo here with us this morning, breaking down the race. So one big surprise is Ted Cruz not doing as well with evangelical Christians as expected. What do you think he needs to do and how is that going to affect his campaign moving forward? This is actually something that started in South Carolina where he wasn't uh, getting the evangelicals. He was able to do it in Iowa. There, there aren't that many evangelical Christians in New Hampshire, so that wasn't an issue. But last night in the states that he won, in Oklahoma, Texas, he did. The evangelicals broke for him, but in a lot of the other states they didn't. Take Alabama for existence for instance, in Alabama, 77% of Republicans who voted yesterday identified as evangelical Christians, mm. and they uh, only 22% of them voted for Cruz, and 44% wow. went for Trump. And so you got to wonder what's go what's going on here. He needs he, uh, Trump is not speaking that language, but for whatever reason, uh, they're they're gravitating toward him. You mentioned South Carolina, and you know that was when we saw right. really Hillary Clinton doing very well with black mm -hmm. voters. She's consistently yes. done well with them. Yes. Why is that significant? Yeah, particularly in the South, and we saw it last night. I mean, nine out of ten uh, black voters in Georgia, or eight out of ten in Georgia, nine out of ten in Alabama, throughout the South and Tennessee, um, and it's significant because it was it's a it's a big part of the, the voting population. Um, black folks have come out in large numbers uh, in Democratic uh, uh, to, to support Democratic candidates, and so she will need them if she were to secure not the, the nomination. Not the same as for Obama, though, right? Not yeah, yet, well, no. No, I mean, I think there was sort of a historic element, and not just in terms of the black vote, but for the young vote, too. People yeah. came out in disproportionate numbers in 2008, and then even again in, in 2012, though to a lesser extent. Mm -hmm. But uh, Bernie Sanders just hasn't been able to make any headway there. And, uh, and so I think I, we saw last week his message sort of in some ways shifting toward the, mm -hmm. as we got closer to Tuesday, where he was sort of more focusing on white working class voters. Yeah. Very interesting. All right, well, things I wish we had changing. you all morning. Yeah, that would be all right. <laughs> Great analysis. <laughs> all right, we're so going to have to wait and see how things play out. Thank okay. you so much for joining right. us. Absolutely.